When you're in a relationship, you tend to know everything about your significant other. You can tell their mood just by looking at them. You're an expert at their body language, which is why when one man hugged his longtime girlfriend, as he normally would, he noticed something was terribly wrong and his worst nightmare came to life. Emmy and Jake were no ordinary couple. They had known each other since they were 11 years old. Running into each other at a school assembly, the two instantly became friends. As time passed, the two grew up and began growing feelings for one another. But in true teenage fashion, couldn't admit it. They dated other people but remained close friends for the majority of their adolescence. Jake calling Emmy his lobster, just like on the famous show Friends. If you don't know the reference, it's a cute one. Phoebe told Ross that he was Rachel's lobster, meaning his forever love, believing that crustaceans are monogamous. After five more years of remaining friends, the two finally began a romantic relationship. Based on love, respect, and friendship, the pillars of a long-lasting relationship. Jake always knew he loved Emmy, even telling her his future plans as soon as they started dating. You're my everything, and if you still can put up with me, I will marry you one day a promise he intended to keep. Their love had finally blossomed and the two were enjoying each other's company more than ever before. They did everything together, growing memories day by day, but adulthood would challenge their love as it does to many. Just as their love had bloomed, so had their careers. Before they knew it, they were both offered their dream jobs that were too far apart to continue their romance. Depressed and upset, they decided to end their relationship in order to live out their dreams. Their love never died, but it seemed it would have to wait. It's funny how these things work. The universe sometimes intervenes, making plans for unsuspecting people. It wasn't going to let them off the hook that easily. They were meant to be, after all. But their reunion would take time and many life-changing experiences. The lovebirds always knew they had a connection that many couldn't even fathom. While in college, they knew there was a chance that work would tear them apart. But Emmy always told Jake that she would indeed marry him by the time she was 30. Nearly 10 years after their breakup, Jake sent her a text out of the blue. It was going to take more than a text to bring these two back together. Nothing in life is ever that easy. At this point, Jake was living in Australia and working as a doctor, a career he had worked long and hard for. Emmy was all the way in Britain, working as a teacher to young kids. Although they were worlds away, they were determined to make it work this time. They knew it was true love, but before they could really enjoy each other, something terrible happened. They continued to visit each other, flights were affordable, so that wasn't too hard on the beautiful couple. The internet helped their connection too, as they were able to constantly stay in touch. Jake knew this eventually wouldn't be sustainable, so he got an idea he knew would work. Jake knew time was ticking, and he didn't want to risk losing Emmy again. Buckling down, he decided it was time to propose to her. He wanted to be with her more than ever, and now was definitely the right time. Although their love was 20 years in the making, he was still nervous about what he was going to say. Jake decided the perfect getaway would be an ideal time to propose to the love of his life. Researching romantic places, he landed in the Philippines. However, before they could make it there, fate would stop them dead in their tracks. When Emmy flew over to Australia to visit Jake before their trip, he hugged her and went into panic. He had never been afraid of anything in his life as much as he feared the idea of living without her. To his shock, there was a lump growing on her neck, and being a doctor, he knew it wasn't good. He urged her to get it checked out, so she did. The day before they were supposed to take their flight to the Philippines, the results came back. It turned out Emmy had a rare form of thyroid cancer and it spread to her entire body. Her spine, her lungs, and her bones were all riddled with cancer. In a moment's notice, Jake's world came crashing down, and worst of all, there was no cure for her cancer. But she wasn't giving up, and neither was he. Emmy had treatments scheduled that would try to prolong her life, even if it was just for a while. She wasn't going to sit back and let cancer steal the time she had left from her either. During this time, she wrote a collection of children's books, which Jake illustrated. Jake flew to Britain to be with her while she was fighting this rare disease. They decided to ride their bikes from London to Copenhagen, raising more than $195,000 for the Royal Marsden Hospital. Jake still wanted to marry her, even if it meant forever would end sooner rather than later. Instead of proposing to her in the Philippines, Jake did it while serving her tea in bed. 
Even though it wasn't his original plan, it was perfect. Due to the time constraints of the situation, they wasted no time getting married. A few days later, among family and friends, the couple got married and enjoyed every moment of it. They danced, laughed, and enjoyed their love on that day. Emmy's motto of smile, love, and be kind was never more true than on that day. She shared her feelings about the experience on Facebook, stating, Love truly is the best drug, and I have been totally smothered in it. Emmy decided to be open about what she was dealing with and shared her story online. What's amazing is even though she was dying of terminal cancer, she kept a smile on her face the entire time. She explained, Although all of this news has been a shock and challenging at times, it has also made me realize how important and precious every day is and to enjoy the treasure every moment. Every moment was treasured between the two, down to the very last one. Emmy was a kind soul, one that will never be forgotten. Unfortunately, not long after their wedding, Emmy passed away. She was always thinking of other people, even in the end. All the proceeds of her book were donated to charities of her choice. Although this story is as tragic as it gets, there is something to be learned. If there is anything to be learned from this horrific tragedy, it's to always live life to the fullest, selflessly embracing all the wonderful moments with the ones we love. Emmy will always be missed and cherished for all that she stood for, even in her darkest hour. Remember to hug the ones you love and never take life for granted.